I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fan of bold claims. I recently saw an advertisement for a product that claims to reduce carpal tunnel and claims that like foam wrist rests are bad for you. There's a product called the Carpio 2.0. I bought one. The first thing I did before I bought one was I checked AliExpress because this just, I'm talking, screamed drop shift product. But it's not, and it literally says on the back, where design meets ergonomics. Like I started the video with, I'm a fan of some bold claims. And this claims that it is much, much significantly better for your wrist than a traditional wrist rest. Let's crack this open, the Carpio 2.0 wrist rest. Let's see if it does anything or let's see if it's an overpriced piece of plastic. Speaking of overpriced, I just want to start this off by saying I paid $40 for this, which some of you would say is extremely, extremely excessive, but I'm unboxing this. I got this yesterday, so I, ha oh, that's a very cool box design. Hold on. <laughs> the presentation is quite good. I like that box design. It's very cool, to be perfectly honest. We have the actual Carpio 2.0 itself here. Uh, it feels relatively high quality. It feels sturdy, like it's not going to come apart. I'd be real upset if it felt like it was a cheap piece of crap. It does, I'm not going to lie though, it does still feel kind of plasticky. In the box, how to use properly thing at the top with a QR code, a cool little deltahub.io bag thingy. It's supposed to sit on your palm. It's not supposed to be on your wrist. It's supposed to be on your palm. It's basically supposed to make it to where you're, natu you're moving your shoulder because your wrist is not what's supposed to be moving your mouse. Your shoulder is what's, it, or it's what's best for your body, for your shoulder to be moving the mouse. So this is supposed to basically eliminate the urge to move the mouse with your wrist in an unhealthy way. It doesn't completely eliminate. It is very smooth, I'll give it that. Like, there's absolutely no resistance to it at all. I will say, it does encourage me to move my wrist in an unhealthy way less. Granted, I'm not doing anything. We'll see how it is, like, for gaming. I gotta, I, I gotta public that video real quick. Hold on. I'll record a clip at the end of today and let y'all know my kind of updated thoughts on it. So, I suppose I'll see you then. One eternity later. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Anyways, I've been trying the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0 now for right around two weeks now. I'm not gonna lie, I can tell a difference. Like I fully came into this video ready to hate this thing. I mean, it is quite literally a piece of expensive plastic. Like it is literally just a gliding piece of plastic that's lighter and glides better than my mouse. And like, I'm not gonna lie, there's a chance it may just be placebo and it may be all in my head, but I tried not using it for a day yesterday and my wrists hurt worse. Like, I mean, legitimately, there's a good chance that was just a placebo effect, but even if it's just placebo effect, I weirdly enough, better with my mouse overall, especially in Dead by Daylight, when I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Hang on, don't click off the video just yet. When I'm playing Dead by Daylight, I legitimately feel like I'm more accurate with my mouse movements and with intentional mouse movement with the Carpio 2.0. Can I justify the price tag? Absolutely not. It is quite literally a piece of plastic that they're charging 40, sometimes $45 for. So can I justify that price tag? No, absolutely not. But for me, who spends as of right now around three hours per day sitting here at my desk, I can tell a difference when I use it and when I don't. So should you get it? Probably not. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, if they're fixing to offer me a sponsorship, absolutely. I think you should pick up a Carpio 2.0 right now. Realistically, do you need it? No. Would it benefit you? 
I don't even know. I don't know. If you have a Carpio 2.0 by Delta Hub, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you think it's worth it? I personally, for my personal purposes, if it was a $20 piece of plastic, <laughs> I could justify it a whole lot more. But the fact that I paid almost $40 for it does kind of still tick me off a little bit. Would I send it back? No, absolutely not. I love it. It's really good. It's it's really nice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is actually a surprise main channel video because I didn't really know that I was going to be making this as a main channel video. But if you want to check out my side channel where I post some daily vlog stuff and basically anything that isn't cut out for the main channel, I post like on the side channel. So check that out right here if you're interested and go get a snack or something like what the heck?